Welcome back. We'll continue our hand chant journey with this third hand chant session in Hive. We understood as a part of our conceptual class, we can work on Hive through Hive command line or B line command line interface. So far, we have been using the Hive command line interface. So we'll try to see how both of them look like. I'll say Hive to launch the Hive command line interface. As I indicated, we have been working with the Hive command line interface so far. So show databases. We'll show use Hive DB. This is how we can work with the Hive command line interface. Now, the second command line interface is B line command line interface. As we have understood, this is the more secure with the better authentication and authorization. We'll see how do we access that. Okay, I already have one session launched here. I will use the same thing. To access the BLN command line, please type in like this. There you go. We are able to access the BLN command line. As I said, it is a better authentication and authorization. It goes through Hive Server 2. Apart from the authentication and authorization, there is a difference in the look and feel also. Whatever we have created, whatever the database, whatever the tables we have created through Hive command line interface, we can access the same thing from the B lane command line as well. Let's do the same thing now. Let's say show databases. There you go, you can see the visualization is much better here. I'll say use HiveDB. Show tables. Isn't it better? The visualization is better and it has a better authentication and authorization as well. I'll say select star from customers you can see visualization is also much better than the hive command line interface you can see when we go ahead and select star from customers that is we are trying to select all the records from the customers table this is how the table looks like in the b line command line on the other hand, if you see here, this is how it looks like in the Hive command line. So from here onwards, we'll start using B lane command line because it has a better authentication and authorization and also it looks better. We'll create one table and insert few records into that. Wonderful. Let's do that. Wonderful. You can see we created a table called orders in Hive using B line command line. Let us see if it is there or not. Show tables. Yeah, we do have table called orders. 
right? Now, do we have any records as a part of this? I don't think so, right? Let's go ahead and execute this. Nothing is there. We'll insert a couple of records into this. Okay, we inserted one row. Let's go ahead and access this row. You can see it's tried. Whatever the data we inserted into the table, that is visible to us. What we'll do is we'll insert few more rows and see how it behaves. All we are trying to do here is we are trying to create a table called orders through B line command line. What I will do is I have already some values. I'll go ahead and insert that into the table called orders. You can just do it later. You can type all of them and insert them. You can see all the records are inserted. This looks much neater as compared to the Hive command line. Wonderful. We learned how to start using the B line command line as a part of this hands on. As I indicated, from now on, we'll be using only the B line command line for all the upcoming practical classes in Hive. Thank you. Mm -hmm.